public execution. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Firing squad or hanging? Firing squad. You are a... Can I fucking help you? I just want to burn your pubes off your face, you know? <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Kaylee Bye, episode 30. 30. 30. <laughs> Three, zero. <laughs> Can't take you anywhere. Dude, I love this fucking jive. Welcome, everybody. I'm trying to get myself pumped up here because we got a good show. We got some good shit to talk about tonight. Sure do. Starting with uh, Brandon just released the the size of his wiener on the internet. Very little. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Very little. I didn't actually, but. Episode 30. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for joining. If you've never been here, this is Caleb. You bye. No need two points. <laughs> fucking WRX K love you by <laughs> with I, Colby and Brandon. When I get like really close to the mic and I get like kind of soft voice, it gets like real deep in the headphones. And I feel like I'm on the radio. Mm. Thanks for tuning in at KL 15, mm. uh, three o'clock in the morning. Put on some slow, smooth jazz tunes for you tonight. Uh, Joanne, it sounds like your husband's cheating on you. <laughs> Have you tried therapy, Joanne? <laughs> <laughs> on to caller thirty six. What do you have to say tonight? We'll do we'll Ooh, do a talk about. We'll do a call in with people and <clears throat> give them love advice. <laughs> 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 it will be awful advice, but it'd be advice nonetheless. Oh, Jim, I'm sorry to hear that your wife doesn't want anything to do with you. Um, might I suggest, uh, drain the bank account and go buy yourself a brand new fishing boat, spend time on that and you'll, you'll feel way better. <laughs> Try that first before you go to counseling. Fishing boat, not near thing there. John. Was it John? Jim. Jim. Jerry. J name. Go ahead and buy yourself a motorcycle. You do you. You deserve it, buddy. Drive it really fast and, and go through a state that don't make you wear a helmet. It's so much more freeing. That'll help you. <laughs> yeah. Lots. Hashtag, love you. Okay, love you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could do it. Yeah. It wouldn't be good, but we could do it. I feel like we would we would be terrible influences on people. Yeah. You especially. Yeah, I've never been known to be a good influence. Mm. No. Well, like, like last night, Ryan was helping me do something. And... He wanted to like go home. I was like, "Hey, um, I'll buy you dinner for helping me." I was like, "Let's go sit down somewhere." He's like, "Oh, I'm in a hurry. I want to go home." And I said, no, let's go. Let's go to OP. I'll buy you a beer. Buy you a beer. I'll buy you a beer. I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> Talked him into going. Get him drunk. And then we got there, ordered a whole pizza, <clears throat> had her fucking beard dropped off, and he fucking got up and left and bailed on me. Really? Yeah. He had a beer? No. He didn't even have a beer? No. He just got him, got him and left. Said, got to go. I'm leaving. I'm like, I'll fucking need beats myself then. <laughs> <laughs> wow, brother cousin. Why would why would you do that? So I, I made a bet with the bartender. I was yeah. like, here's the deal. I'm going to guess your age correctly, and you're going to buy me a free drink. No, you didn't. Yeah. She goes, okay, what do you got? And I said, you look like you're 24. She goes, hmm, no, 25. And I was like, motherfucker. Oh, so close yet so far. And you want to hear something really stupid? So I went to the OP two nights in a row. Smart. So the first night I went was with uh, Tempe and Timmy. Mm -hmm. And it was after we left work late. Yeah, they told me. So we're sitting there. Didn't even get a call or nothing. But that's fine. I didn't want to go anyway. I wouldn't have went. I know you wouldn't have went. That's why I didn't call you. Mm. You were already fucking sleeping, fucking grandpa. 
At nine o'clock? No, it wasn't. Uh, so we're sitting there, and the waitress that night, or the bartender that night, she was punching shit into the computer, and I was just thinking how I'd been on my, I'd been standing for so fucking long, and my legs were killing me. Mm-hmm. And I was looking at those fancy bar back mats they have that are like cushion support for bartenders for being on the feet for a long time. Yeah. I'm like, God, that looks fucking great. I wish I had one of those all day today. And I just happened to notice she was wearing like these pants that like just happened to notice they stopped like right above her ankle and then she was wearing like tennis shoes so she had like four inches of like her bottom leg you could see Mm -hmm. and she had this tattoo on the front of her ankle that said 1997 and i said hmm perfect watch this i said hey i got a bet for you let me i guess your age you buy me a beer she goes okay (laughs) so me thinking i was fucking slick did the math in my head and i'm like I got this. I was like, uh, what was it, uh, 26 or something? I was like, you're 26. And she goes, uh, wrong. I'm like, 25. Like, what? She goes, no, I'm 25. And I'm like, I hadn't hit her birthday yet. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I, I didn't even think, like, my, my odds were fucking one out of four. Mm-hmm. And I picked the wrong side of the odds <laughs> i was like fuck so i lost that bet too i lost twice in a row i felt really fucking stupid though when she was like no nope. 25 and i was like motherfucker there i go not using my calculator again <laughs> god damn it how were your odds one out of four well almost one out of four it's almost april Mm. So like quarter. Your well, well your, your no, chance, March. Your chance was would have been like seventy five twenty five. That's that's what I mean. Like one out of four. Yeah, but the other the other nine months wouldn't make. So if, for it to be one out of four, it would have had to have been either the these first three months, the next three months, the three months that after that, or the three months after that. But any time after this month. It's all the same. It's all the same answer. 25, right? You know what I'm saying? It's hard yeah. to explain it in this context, but. So I picked, I what I was getting at was I picked the first three months mm-hmm. where she would be 26 right now. Yeah. Where I should <laughs> have just been like, okay, it's only March. Chances My are. odds are better if I say she's 25. Yeah. Because we probably haven't got to her birthday yet. Still would have lost her birthday. It would have been like January 3rd or some bullshit. But <laughs> Yeah. Or she would have just said that. <laughs> yeah. She would just lie. You're like, well, I don't know what you drink. Like, hmm. Pro- did you have her prove it? Say, let me see your driver's license. No, but she was really nice about it, though. She was like, hmm. She said her birthday right away. I can't remember what it was. Mm. It's like August or something. I was like, fuck. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Did the math on the years, and I'm like, hmm. Didn't even think about the months. No. <laughs> Fuck that up bad. I was actually, when you were telling that, you started telling that story, and you saw the 1997, I thought you were just going to be like, yeah, I totally got this, and then just, <laughs> you're 20. <laughs> <laughs> totally fucked up <laughs> the math. But you didn't. You got. Well, she told me. You're essentially like, right. She's like, you said that, and I was, I was like, yeah, I'll take that bet. Most people say I'm 20 or 21. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, hmm, joke's on you. I know you were born in 97. <laughs> Still got it wrong. She put that tattoo on her leg, so just in case she forgot. For that bet. She, no, it's just in case she forgot how old she was. She'd be like, yeah. It's like the people who put their their own name on their on their body. I'm like, what's my name? Oh, it's Jonathan. That's right. Stab, on the search of established 1997. Is that what her said? No. Oh. No, hers was just 1997. <laughs> it was a good year though 97? Yeah What were you doing in 97? Uh, well I was in What was I in? 6th or 7th grade I think 6th grade maybe Watching the Broncos whoop ass On the way to their first Super Bowl Oh Jesus Christ Fucking Broncos Yeah I mean if you have to like a team At least you got to get the right colors <laughs> I guess. 
<laughs> Pretty close to the bear. I always see that too. Like I'll see someone in like a bear's orange jersey. I'm like, oh, Bronco. Oh, bears. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> you wouldn't know good football for hating the face. Sure, 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 sure. Um, I was going to say something to that. I don't know, but if you could not chew your ice in the microphone, that'd be fantastic. All yeah. I hear is, does that bother you? Does that bother you? I'll stop. It doesn't really bother me, no. I'll stop after the next time I do it. <laughs> Until the next time you do it. Until, until you'll stop until the next time you do it and then you'll do it again yep i will either that or i'm gonna have to start doing this can still hear it <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah so you're at work by yourself today yep thank you for that you're welcome uh not all day but yeah speaking of work we have a shout out today shout shout it all out Shout it out loud. I was going with shout, shout, let it all out. Mm. <clears throat> These are the things that we do without. Come on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we both had good directions there. <clears throat> yeah. They both had the word shout in it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, for our shout out here, let me ask you guys. You ever been working in your shop? And just thought to yourself, man, I wish I had a good selection of nuts and bolts. Or, man, I wish I had a shelf with brake parts cleaner or carbon choke just readily available to use. Hmm, we may have a solution for you. <laughs> what am I talking about, Brandon? MSC Math Matthew. I was said Matt <laughs> Matt Escobar. Matt Pablo Escobar, he's a number one follower of ours. Mm -hmm. He, uh, awesome dude, works for a great company, MSC. They're a bench stock solution company. If you need bench stock management or anything of that nature where, you know, you just are sick of running to the parts stores and getting your own stuff, reach out to us. We'll get in touch with Matt. He'll set you up. Take care of every need that you ever had. Stock up on nuts, bolts, aerosols, electrical grease, parts, elect butt yeah, connectors, connectors everything. pretty much whatever you want. You want to, I'm pretty sure they even have fucking. Uh, if you want a dog bowl, I guarantee he can get you one. Probably. He can get you everything. They got creepers, I'm almost certain of. Yeah. Yeah. All kinds of shit. Everything. Yeah. Safe, everything safety you glasses, ever safety goes, all that stuff. If you're into that kind of thing, safety, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you use promo code hashtag Caleb you buy. Yeah. For a zero percent discount. Matt will hook you up with fifty percent. I'm <laughs> just kidding. He won't. <laughs> <laughs> Help him out, Matt. Yeah. Great dude. Yes, he is. What are you doing? True. I can still hear it. Yeah, all dude. the way back there. Yeah. I was chewing my eyes. Yeah, I know. I'm an ice chewer, dude. When I have fucking I know, and every time you do it, you got these little, like, water bubbles in your mustache. They just chill there. It looks like a, you know, a, oh, you see those, so uh, like, Discovery Channel shows where it has, shows, like, a spider web, and there's, like, little dew, dew drops all over <laughs> yeah. it. That's exactly what it looks like a in mustache. your mustache. Yeah. Dude, there's nothing better than taking a good, hearty drink of a, a mixed drink, and then you get it down, and you, you lick your mustache, and you get to fucking taste it all over again. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good. Maker's Mark again. What is that? What is that? Maker's Cherry, Mark. Cherry Pepsi and Maker's Mark tonight. Cherry it's Pepsi not and that, Maker's Mark. It's Mark. not that good. I kind of went yeah. like hillbilly with it. Just It's like three quarter Cherry mix. Pepsi <clears throat> with a dash of Maker's. Maker's Mark. Yeah. Yep. yep. What's that? Yeah, it is. What's that uh, liqueur? It's like a, it's like a, it's a dark cherry. It has like, the, I think I feel like it has like the wax shit on it too. But it's like a, it's very low alcohol percentage, but it's really sweet. When we were in Bahrain, so they, we had points, a point system. So you could get, I think, how many points was that? I want to say it was like 15 or 20 points or some shit like that. And like a case of beer was like three points and you only get that per 
month or week or some something like I don't even remember exactly, but it it's points. So we'd have to buy this liqueur a lot because you'd be down to like two points. You can't really buy anything, but this liqueur is like a point per bottle. So if you're like running out of points, you just buy that shit. Or you find somebody who doesn't drink, like, hey, <laughs> buy this for me with hey. your points. <laughs> hey. I'll trade you money for points, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what it was called, though. It's, God, it's something. It's <clears throat> really sweet. It's like cherry, cherry flavored shit, kind of. It's huh. a liqueur. It's like a mixer you put in, you know, whatever. I don't know. But it has alcohol in it. Just not a lot. Yeah. So what you're saying is you had to drink the whole bottle to keep up with your friends that had a backlog of points? Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, you're drinking everybody else's beer anyway, but you got to supply something. Might yeah. as well be a liqueur. <laughs> you know, that's what baffles my mind, right? Grown-ass fucking men in the military, <laughs> and you're buying fucking... You're privileged with buying alcohol on a point system. Mm -hmm. Fuck. What happened to the fucking... Vietnam days, right? They were handing out doobies like, hey, go run to the jungle. I'll give you a couple joints. <laughs> well, I think I'm <laughs> pretty sure it's because they don't want people to get all fucking drunk and ridiculous and go out in town, which I don't know how it was for the base people. We didn't live on base, but we, I mean, we go out until we had free reign pretty much. We had, we had a curfew, but you can go out in town and get drunk and shit, whatever. And Some places have, usually what I noticed is that if, if you're on a base that has a curfew, it's because somebody fucked up really bad. Mm-hmm. Or if they have, like, rules like no drinking while you're deployed at certain bases, it's because somebody fucked mm -hmm. up really bad. Uh, my last deployment, we were sitting at, like, the... They had, like, this this rec area where there was, like, the bar. And there was, like, shit for people to do. And, like, it was, like, a common area that everyone could hang out. Yeah. And they... before Right before I got there... They had opened it up where, like, you could drink, like, four or five drinks a day or something like that. Yeah. And some fucking fresh second lieutenant, mm -hmm. some girl who was out there on her first appointment, fresh fucking butter bar, and got all shit-faced on, like, five drinks, got in her officer vehicle... And drove right through the middle of the wreck area with like people sitting at tables Jesus. and shit, like trying to mow mow people down, <laughs> mow people down, huh? dude. So by the time I got there, they were like, "Oh, hey, welcome to your deployment. No drinks. You can't you can't drink at all. Mm -hmm. No more booze for anybody." Yeah. And I was like, "This is gonna be a really fucking shitty deployment." Yeah, I remember we went to Djibouti, <clears throat> Africa. We weren't there for very long, like a couple weeks or whatever, but they had like this uh, this party concert thing going on, but you could only have three drinks per person. Yeah. And I, you know, I drink my beer pretty fast. Yep. And I crushed my three and I was like, fuck, no, what the fuck am I going to do the rest of the night? You know, yep. like this music sucks. Stand there all <laughs> awkward and shit. Like, yeah. what do I do with my hands? <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I don't know what to do, man. So. Yeah. I, eventually, by the time we got to, like, oh, second month into the deployment, they opened it back up. But you can only have two beers. Two beers a day. Two mi or two mixed drinks, two shots, or two beers. Mm -hmm. That's all you could have. And I think it was, like, Foster's was, like, the beer you could get. Foster's ain't bad. And it, But they were in, like, these big fucking cans. Like, yeah. Like, the big silo cans. So, depending on the day, I'd mix it up. Some days I'd get, some days I was just not in the mood, and I would just go down and get my two shots of something. Mm -hmm. Smash two shots, and away I go. But I don't have to deal with that anymore. I have a fridge full of beer, and I can drink whatever I want. I can drink whatever the fuck I want. Yep. You know? Mm-hmm. Except for, I mean, there are times where it's frowned upon. You know, drinking. Yeah, if you're go like, but it doesn't. Children's concert doesn't always really kind of doesn't always people kind of give you dirty looks. <laughs> we we <laughs> went to uh, so we went to a Chuck E. Cheese a couple weekends ago for my uh, friend's daughter or for who whose birthday was it? It was like <laughs> never mind. It was my 
nephew's well, party. Yeah, I was going to say, wasn't it your nephew? Yeah, I was thinking, because there are so many birthdays. Um, anyway, so we went. It was like 10 o'clock in the morning. And my brother-in-law, first thing he does, goes up, gets beer. Yeah. <laughs> he starts drinking at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yep. Up. Chuck E. Cheese. Dude. I wasn't going to. I was. I wanted one. Not going to lie. I wanted one, but I wasn't going to go. I cannot tell you how many times I've been in the situation where I order a beer somewhere and everybody I'm with and everybody else that's there looks at you like. Yeah. It's nine o'clock. I'm like, yeah, I should have been fucking drinking a couple hours ago. <laughs> I should be drunk already. Jesus. You guys are holding me back. Why do I even hang out with you people? You finish your bacon before you crack your first <laughs> beer. You fucking can't drink all day, mm -hmm. you know? But I I do that all the time. My favorite thing to do is when we go to, like, like our kids, like, playing baseball or soccer games or something. I'll roll Take up. A flask. I'll roll up with, like, my Yeti mug. Mm-hmm. And it'll be full of, like, Captain and Diet or something. Yeah. And I'll be standing there cheering for my kids, and people will look over, and I'll, I'll just be like, Gatorade. Ice <laughs> down Gatorade. <laughs> oh, fuck you. What are you looking at? Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, Karen. You don't need to know what I'm drinking. And then you always have that, like, one kid that plays soccer with your kid, and their dad is a, a fucking cop. Mm -hmm. And you can just tell because of the way he's standing and his haircut and... His G Shock. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with G Shocks, bud. No, but every fucking cop's got one on. <laughs> a lot of people and, in the military have them too. Yeah, and they're they're standing there like this, watching their kid, and then you yell like, "Good job to your kids!" And he looks over, and like you can tell, he like looks you down, looks right at your glass, and goes, "Some kids' parents." <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way, the only true way to enjoy a kids like I, young kids sporting events yeah. is. Getting drunk. Fuck yeah. I never did it, but I'm I will say this. I am not afraid. Not afraid to raise my kids in the sort of manner that they know how to have a good time. Yeah. I feel like they'll be way more social people. They're gonna be party animals. That's fine. If they don't, that's fine too. Yeah. But I I mean I'm definitely that dad that'll beat the shit out of my kid if I he ever starts getting into like drugs, stupid shit. Yeah, you know, because there's so many programs out there to help like addicts, but they have to help themselves to be a part of them. Yeah, you can't like lock somebody up and be like, "You're going to get better," because they can just check themselves out like the next day. Mm hmm. So, my kids ever fucking get into shit like that. Locking them in the basement until they're fucking clean. clean yeah. <laughs> Dad, when are you going to let me go? Well, you're almost at 34 days. You should be getting close. Yeah. You're almost there, bud. Yeah. <laughs> A few more days. Speaking of kids, <clears throat> the other day I had my wallet sitting on the counter. And inside my wallet, so it's a bifold, and it has, like, a little flip that flops up, and it's got, like, where you put a picture and shit. Flip-flop. A flip-flop in the wallet, the yep. bifold. Yeah. And uh, so in this picture thing, I have a picture of Ashley's butt. It's a <laughs> naked butt. Well, she's got a thong on, but. Uh, so anyway, this fucking cat jumps up, like, right lands right on my wallet and, like, kicks it off, and it opens up. And it's just laying there on the floor. And Bailey was like, watched it the whole time. And she saw it. <laughs> I could see it like on her fucking face. She was like shocked. She like saw it and like looked at me. And I looked at her. I was like, I, I don't know what to do. Like, this is really fucking awkward. <laughs> is that Ashley's butt? No. No, that's, uh, that's, that's, an, that's, poor, that's, uh, no. that's my girlfriend's butt. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's no, nobody you know. Don't tell Ashley that's in there. <laughs> Ashley was right there. It was, like, it was really awkward for all of us. <laughs> mm. Have you had anything like that? Like you'd be fucking or something and kids walk in or some shit like that? I haven't had that happen yet. Thank God. There was one time and it it happened like perfect. Uh, you know, like big spoon, little spoon position, mm -hmm. right? And we, like we were banging. And all of a sudden, one of our kids swings the door open, but it looked like we were just, like, cuddling in bed. Yeah. So I, like, quick, like, stop. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then 
Like, I, don't, I can't remember what the kids had going on, but they had no fucking clue. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, okay, yeah, go back out in the living room, shut the door, lock it behind you. <laughs> well, you lucked out. Could have yeah. been a lot worse. Oh yeah. Good. Oh yeah. I feel like the the one that is like probably the hardest to explain would be like doggy style. You know what I'm saying? Because you're just behind, and, and <laughs> there's obviously there's no way to like cover anybody yeah. up. So if they walk in and see that, like. They have to know imagine, kind of what's happening. Imagine like teabagging. <laughs> your kids just, walk in. Your fucking balls. Are just your balls. Squatting over your wife's face with your balls. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? What? Imagine if you had like a sex swing or something in there. She's oh my god, fucking legs are out here. She's like, yeah. oh fuck, you know that kid would be fucked forever. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> dude. I can't. I can't imagine. I don't. I don't ever want to go through that. I make sure my doors are fucking locked. Tell you that much. Oh yeah, dude. It's. Uh, I can't I believe. Just, I just picture you, team, like you, just, like I picture like Jaden just laying there, and then you like with your legs all spread out like this, and then just crouching down like this, and just keep crouching down with your balls, <laughs> <laughs> just dropping them on her face. And shit. <laughs> And watching it happen, Dad. What are you doing? <laughs> oh God, that would be awful. I would probably laugh at it though if it happened to you. <laughs> Mom's checking for ticks. <laughs> oh God, fuck it, shit. Yeah, uh, most of the time anymore. Like we we don't even do anything unless the kids are gone. Yeah. Just because of that. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Because there's been several times where, like, they'll sit outside the door and, like, Mom, 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 I'm hungry. Like, it's pretty easy for us because, like, even if it was the middle of the day and they were downstairs and we were upstairs, obviously, you can, you can hear the, our stairs, our house is like 100 and fucking 12 years old six years old or some shit so you can hear people coming up and down the stairs yeah. pretty well yeah so like i'm pretty sure pretty sure i'd be able to tell if they were coming upstairs see all all our bedroom doors are like right next to each other so i mean one of the kids opens their door and they open their door mm-hmm. or our door it could literally be like boom boom no oh, yeah like so fast you wouldn't even be able to yeah if they were in our in their bedroom their bedrooms like we got a lock on the door now. Yeah. I had, yeah. We didn't have one when I moved in. I was like, that's the first thing I bought was a new fucking doorknob with a fucking lock on it. Yeah. You like didn't want thing. Bailey catching you with Ashley in the sex wing. No. <laughs> Don't have a sex wing, but yeah. Something like that. Uh. <laughs> All right. Moving on. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. <laughs> it's just... I did. What's weird about it is I didn't even picture Ashley in the sex wing. I pictured myself. <laughs> that's like that's even weird. <laughs> oh, that'd be so fucking weird. No, I'm picturing you in the sex wing and Ashley fucking railing. No, it wouldn't strap. be like that. <laughs> oh yeah, I no. love it. But oh god, okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> She gives you a shove and you swing back and she tries to aim it just right and fucking <laughs> like that. Uh, what's that movie? Uh, Zach and Mary make a porno <laughs> where they do that thing where he's laying on the ground and she does like the flip yeah. and tries to land like right on his dick. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. <clears throat> Brandon's a freak, guys. Just letting you know. Yeah. He's a freak. Yeah. <laughs> Shit gets weird in the Patton household. <laughs> what? It doesn't. Or does it? She's balls deep in you uh, while you're jerking yourself off. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That doesn't happen. And we're back. We had to take a <clears throat> brief intermission so he could uh, deal with my fucking kids. Deal with his kids. Um, and mummy. So. Mummy dickus. Fucking kids. Couple things. Okay. Couple things. We used to have to have, like, the most elaborate fucking plan ever to get out of school for being sick. Yeah. 
I mean, we used to have to fucking be professional actors, mm-hmm. professional, uh, like, we'd have to fake doctor's notes, I'm parent pretty, signatures. I'm pretty sure one time I fucking, I took a can of soup and I poured it into the t- the toilet and I was like, I threw up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we used to have to go to like the extent. Yeah. Now the school calls us and says, you can't drop them off like that. 99.1? They've got a raging fever. <laughs> Fuck. No, they're fine. Fuck off. <sighs> but why are you why are you talking about that? Where where did this come from? It remind well, because my kids fucking all last week, right? I'm getting like a little chest thing. And it's because mm. my fucking kids. Kids will do that. Hanging out at spring break with new kids they haven't been around at the YMCA program for spring break. Did they sing the song? So they they get introduced to all these kids that they're not around all the time, and then they start trading trading bugs. Mm-hmm. And then they bring it home, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's cute. And then all of a sudden I wake up one morning with a f- pressure in my face. and Yeah, and then you bring it shit in my chest, and I'm like. Bring it to me, so you. thank you for that. Don't look at me like what? If you get sick, it's your own fault. It's not my fault. I don't pass germs. You get okay. Okay. Speaking of school call outs, you got a call, was it yesterday? Yeah. Which was pretty fucking weird. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say this right now. If you're watching this and you have the ability what? See, that's how I know you were looking at yourself. I said nothing. But I mouth words. I, I looked at the camera and then I saw your mouth moving. Okay. I just said right now. Like always. I just mouthed right now. I see your mouth moving, but there's never anything good coming out of it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so if you're watching and you're really good at like tracing phone calls and IP addresses and shit, please get a hold of us because the school. I guarantee it was all over the state. I guarantee it would have. I know somebody pretty smart's already working on that. Yeah. So the whole, st- it might've been the whole country, but at least the state of Iowa, there was these false active shooter phone calls that came into all of the, all these school districts and they locked down all these fucking schools and they had to have the police come clear them. The schools were all hush hush about it until it was over. And then they told the parents what the fuck was going on. Oh, Dude, we had no notice. The only way that I knew was because Tommy fucking called me. Oh, really? His wife had heard from somebody the school was on lockdown, and he called me and said, hey, school's on lockdown. Oh. And I'm like, what? <clears throat> See, I thought the school called you no, or something. No, no. That's bullshit. They'd be fucking cool if the school would hit a button that sends a mass text, school's on lockdown to everybody. Mm-hmm. Then at least we know, hey, the school's on lockdown. Why? But no, nothing. All we got was an email after it was done, that said, lockdown has been lifted with, like, description of what happened. So, fuck you, school district that See, my kids attend. <clears throat> now, that makes me wonder because... It pisses me off. I didn't hear anything about where Bailey goes to school. So, and did they have it, too? I don't know. But now I'm wondering if they didn't, you know, maybe they didn't fucking... Did they ever call you or anything? No. There was See, no, that's what I'm saying. Maybe they did, and I didn't. They didn't fucking tell. There was no about call. It. There was no nothing. It was just when it was done. They told us, "Hey, there was an incident." Well, you know what? I don't give a fuck that the incident's over. I want to know when it starts. Yeah. Because if there's an active shooter at the fucking school my kids go to, guess where the fuck I'm going? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So I don't want to know. After they had a chance to do their business in the school and the cops handled it and it's done, I want to know when it fucking starts because that's where I'm fucking going. Yep. You know what I mean? So do better. Fuck you. Do better school district that my kids attend. Yeah, no shit. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. terrible. But I wish I knew somebody that was really good at fucking tracing phone calls and shit like that because I would really love... To find out who the fuck was behind the... They call them swatting calls. Apparently, there's a name for it. Yeah. which You never heard of that? Which is even more ridiculous that they happen so regularly 
Well, it's not it's not that. So mm-hmm. usually what happens is like so say something some like people are playing like games online together. Well, there's been occasions where people would call, you know, the police and say like this person who they were playing against or playing with or whatever was was doing something illegal or whatever and then the SWAT team would come in or like they have a hostage or I don't even know what they say. But the SWAT team would come in and sometimes it's happened to people who have like been on camera because they're like streaming and stuff or whatever. Yeah. And the SWAT team will come in and fucking arrest them and blah 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 and all this shit. And I'm I'm actually I'm pretty sure at least one that I can think of got killed in yeah, yeah. did I'm almost certain one somebody got killed by getting swatted. Hmm. It's like yeah, it's like a thing they call the police on them with like this false story or whatever, and then the SWAT team comes in and fucking busts the door down while they're playing these video games, and people hear it like on the the fucking chat or whatever, and sometimes dude, video and shit. That's bullshit. Speaking of shot, that brings us, dude. Look at look at us. We're rolling <clears throat> right into them. Oh no, this this next topic that we're we're bringing you it's very intriguing i just want to say i don't like i don't like to publicly well yes i do i like i like people to know where i stand i agree with it i want it to be a thing all over yeah so idaho idaho state senate passes mm. bill to reinstate execution by firing squad which i don't know if you realize this i didn't really until this this uh article or whatever but brian Koberg, the guy that killed those uh those the co-eds and that at the yeah yep yep uh, yep I, he's uh you know obviously in idaho so if he's convicted uh of killing those four students which if he's not then wow yeah but if he, he's convicted he he, he's, he can uh face a death penalty which would be firing squad that i hope they they're not going to but i I wish they would live stream that. No, and you know that's another thing too that goes with this public execution. Public executions should probably be a thing. Yeah. Because you know how many bad guys that watch a bad guy get killed in public for doing something bad would be like okay. The, yeah, and then they'll weigh their oh, okay. options a little bit more next time be like yeah. do I really want to fucking do this or one you die r- risk fucking getting hung in front of everybody. One you die, but two Everybody watches you die. Mm-hmm. When you're standing there getting ready to get killed and everyone's chanting, kill him, kill him. Mm-hmm. Like everyone's cheering it on. Oh, God. Yeah. You know. And, you know, there's going to be those people out there that are just so fucking crazy that they're not going to give a fuck. But there's also going to be a lot of people who are be like, oh, God, I don't want to be fucking stoned to death or, yeah. you know, face a firing squad or whatever, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Would and you... Lo- Dude, I, I'm all about it. Oh, yeah. Me too. I, I, the, I totally think it should be a thing. Uh, what did they say? There was four states that have already, like, semi-passed it? Uh, so the Idaho State Senate on Monday voted 24 to 11 to pass a bill aimed at reviving the firing squad as death penalty uh, amid a <laughs> uh, supply shortage of lethal injection drugs. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I thought I heard that. Yeah, which passed the House State Representatives uh, this month. Uh, so the bill will go to Idaho Governor Brad Little's desk next. His office did not immediately respond to the request. Blah, blah, blah. So what was your question again? I already forgot. Uh, was there, I think there was like four other states that have already like semi-passed it as well. Um, does, does it say that? Or? This, I mean, no. Or maybe this, I'm thinking of a different article. The, well, hold yeah, on. I might be thinking of a different Four article. other states have an option yeah. for the firing squad, firing squad, although its use is extremely rare, um, which those states are Mississippi. Sounds about right. Yep. Oklahoma. Yep. This one's kind of surprised me. Utah. No. Uh-huh. That surprises me. And South Carolina. Really? Yeah. They have killed three condemned prisoners by firing squads since 1976. Huh. Utah brought it back in 2015. Really? Due to its own struggles with lethal injection. Well, I mean. Yeah. It was actually legal in Idaho until 2019, 2009. I must say this. Like, it, if somebody is on death row, right? 
Yeah. Why are you doing it in the most humane way possible? You know what I mean? Yeah. At that point, if you get convicted and you're being sentenced to death, why does anyone care how it happens? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I know. Like, especially like if it's brutal, who cares? Yeah, like if right, it's humane, I don't. I would. I don't like. That's the least. The, the least best option for me. Mm-hmm. If somebody needs to be executed because they're not suitable to be living in our world anymore, why the fuck does anyone care at all how they die? Right. It baffles my mind. You know, like rapists and pedos and shit. Fucking, I don't care. if I, I want them to <clears throat> shit themselves and be scared for their fucking I understand lives. the family. Like, if, like, a, like somebody gets sentenced to death. Like their mother, their father, siblings, immediate family. I understand they want it to be like the most humane possible way. But at that point, the family's like the family doesn't matter. Right. Well, I mean, <clears throat> but here's also another thing too, that somebody is saying is, uh, so the people assigned to the fire squad, the witnesses and the cleanup crew are all at risk of becoming traumatized by the experience. Who cares? There's people out there that won't be. You hire the right people yes, and but they won't be. For, yeah, but there's also people who be like, <clears throat> say you're hiring a firing squad person, right? Yeah. Be like, oh, pff, yeah, I could take this dude out. No problem. I got no no quarrels with it or nothing. Put me in there. Yeah. I'll fucking take him out. No issues. And then they do it. And then all of a sudden, like, oh, God, what did I do? You know, they don't realize how it is until they do it. Replace them with somebody that can do it. But they, they've already done it. That's oh, well. what I'm saying. I mean, so... Okay, so I'm going to start with... So, I'm a motherfucker. Yeah. Because there's a lot of times where I don't have a lot of empathy for certain shit. Yeah. And it's not because I don't care about somebody's feelings. It's because I've already... I have myself in a mental place where I could do a lot of things that I don't... Most people would be fucked up about, and I might get a little fucked up about it, but I'm okay. Like, I don't need to, I don't need other people to worry about whether or not if I shot somebody on fire in the squad, if I'm okay. I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Might fuck me up a little bit, but That's what therapy's I'll be fine. for, right? I mean, that's what, you know, figuring out your life yeah, I've been keeping your shit straight about. I personally, I, I wouldn't be affected by it. I don't think whether I I'm either. watching or participating. I'd well, somebody told me once that when they used to do the firing squad regularly, mm -hmm. there was like several individuals that all had had guns. Yeah, and they 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 hand you a firearm. Oh, and you don't know if yours and, is live or not, or something. And they they have blanks in yeah. all of them. Yep. And then they put like a few rounds, like in each, like certain ones. So say they have 15 people on the firing squad. Like, maybe only three guns are are full of live rounds, and there's only so many of them. Right. But they all are instructed to shoot them till empty. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes it at the point where you can, you can confidently live with yourself knowing that I'll never know if I've killed them or not. You know what I mean? Like, you need, I suppose, yeah. you need to be able to have the mindset. If you're going to do that kind of job... If they bring all this shit back. They would, they would have to do a lot of vetting when it comes to like yeah. the people that they would brought in yeah, for like, that. If you're worried about how people are going to react about it, I mean, there's crime scene crime scene cleanup crews that do it day oh, yeah. in and day out, and they, they've they learned how to live with it. So that part of it, who cares? Yeah, and when it comes to witnesses, like if you think you can't handle it, don't be there. Yeah. There's no point in you being there. Yeah. I mean, there there are people that you are interviewing – that are going to be able to tell you yes, no, and they might be able, like, if you go through a scenario, right, like, you're hiring somebody to be a witness, please explain to me what's the most traumatic thing you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Saw a guy get in a car accident, his body got ejected, and his head popped off when he came out the window. Okay, how did you deal with that? I did this, I did that. Okay, how are you in this kind of a situation? What do you react? You know what I mean? Like, go through... And figure out, this is the worst they've seen. This is how they handled it. This is what they have. Like, psychiatrists and shit 
can tell by having a conversation with somebody if they dealt with it right or wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. So put people through the process, find the ones you need, hire them, and that's their job. Yeah. Look at how many people used to work in packing plants that their main job was to fucking slit throats on pigs and listen to them bleed out. And that's mm-hmm. what they did all day, every day. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? And then it got to a point where they figured out, okay, we can let them do that for a month and we have to rotate them to a different job. Mm-hmm. And then they, you know what I mean? They worry about that shit, but there's solutions to that. Oh, yeah. There's, well, there's solutions to damn near everything. Yeah. I mean, one way Who cares? I would, <clears throat> I would much rather them spend money and time investing in hiring the right crew to kill somebody. Yeah. Than the amount of money they spend letting them sit on death row and the money that they spend on doing it humane as possible. I personally, I'd be okay cares? with public hangings. I'd rather it cost more money to be to execute people on a firing squad. Which it won't. It'll if, be if cheaper. To- if they came, if the state of Iowa said, all right, brought back public executings and firing squad and this and that. It's going to cost you a shit ton more in taxes. You're going to pay thousands of dollars a year extra in taxes if we do this. I'd be like, okay. Yeah. Versus some of the bullshit they put in our taxes and go, that's why. I'd be like, that's dumb. You didn't even ask me if I wanted that. <laughs> you didn't even get my permission. You didn't even let it. Let's vote no it. means no. Yeah. Question. Yes. Would you, if you were to be publicly executed, mm-hmm. would you rather? Mm-hmm. Yes. Hang from the neck until you die or face a firing squad. Firing squad or hanging. Okay, so I'm a realist here, right? So let me back this up. I need you before so I answer. to back it up. Before I answer this question, I need yeah. you to I need you to describe what I'm being publicly executed for. No. What, what did I do? Why? Why does that matter? It matters. No, it my, doesn't. My choice of how I want to die matters on what I did. Because of what you did. So yes. you, you're going to punish yourself for the severity of the crime? Yeah. No. That's how I would this, choose. That's not what this question's about. This is, <clears throat> would I rather die by hanging? Okay. Here. here if you I go. have a choice, I already know what Here is your crime. Okay. Nothing. You didn't do a thing. Which one are you going to do? There. If I didn't do anything. <clears throat> I would want to be pu- I want to be firing squad. I'd want to be publicly executed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I want to be publicly executed because I did nothing. Firing squad? Firing squad. That's what I would choose, but why? Because it's faster. Potentially. You oh, better hope those motherfuckers got some good aim. Oh, they're going to, I mean, they're going to kill you. Oh, I'm sure they're going to kill you, but whether it's, it's, it's going to be more instantaneous or is it going to be bleeding out? Oh, I guarantee you. I guarantee I, you, you're going to hit the ground, and then it's going to be like, oh, 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 and you're just going to like, like black out. Yeah. It would be very, very quick. That's the, I mean, that's the way I would go. Because, you no. know, hanging, you're, you're going to piss and shit yourself, and you're going to feel it. You're going to know what's happening. You're going to see all these people no, kind of through, like, if, I'm assuming blurry eyes. If I, was a, if I was a fucking creeper, and I raped and killed people, and... I was like doing shit for like my own sick twisted pleasure. I would pick hanging. Well, if you're doing those things, you're not gonna pick that probably. I would. Mm. If if I was up against that, I would go. You know, I did some fucked up shit, and it would be easy for me to just get shot and killed. But that doesn't give these people justice. They caught me. I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna give them their justice. I'm gonna hang. It's gonna suck for me. Okay. No, you wouldn't, because you're going to be a sociopath. If you're doing all this shit, you're going to be a sociopath because you're not going to care. You're not going to care about anything. You're not going to care about your feelings, their feelings, nothing. Jeffrey Dahmer did. That's what he said. He cared. Did he? Yeah, it was impu- it was impulse control. He couldn't he couldn't stop himself from doing it. Mm. He hated that he did it, but he couldn't stop himself from doing it. That's what he said. It was like smoking a cigarette. You hate that you do it. You want to quit, but. When you're standing there and somebody goes, you want to smoke? Hands you a cigarette? You're like, oh, no, I shouldn't. Oh, fuck, okay. That's a little different, but. Yeah, but what if it was like that? I um, mean. See, this, this is deep. We could go, like, all sorts of routes with this. Could. Okay, so 
public execution. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Firing squad or hanging? Firing squad. You are a raper, murderer, uh, got in trouble, got caught for treason. Firing squad. Every cho- every choice? Yeah, because <clears throat> I'm situation. telling you, like, okay, let's say Jeffrey Dahmer was. So you're selfish. But no. Well, sure. Yeah, yeah, if I'm a sociopath, yeah, I'm fucking selfish. I don't care. I don't care what anybody thinks. I have no real emotion. Yeah. I mean, maybe Jeffrey Dahmer was actually, he did care, whatever. Mm-hmm. But still, he he's an exception, I guess, to the rule because generally people like that are going to be fucking yeah so fucked that they they have no fucks given about anything. Mm-hmm. So they're not going to be like, God, I did really bad things. I should probably punish myself in the worst way, or let them punish me in the worst way. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to go by hanging. You know, that's what I would. That's how I think. But that's what you think right now because you're not fucking crazy. <laughs> or, or are you? Oh, Note to we, self: we Colby can, is a we psychopath. Can, we can fucking <laughs> debate that a little bit. Yeah, but we won't. Yeah, I'm definitely. I think I would definitely have to make a choice. Mm. If if I had the choice, I would make the choice based off of what I did. But I'm a realist, dude. I that's how I think. Like, there's people that get really mad at me sometimes because of the way that. So I you think do have empathy then. I I do, but it's weird. It's not like. It's not like I'm just empathetic because somebody's having a bad day, mm-hmm. or like something that wasn't that bad happened, but it's affecting you worse than it would affect me. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not that kind of person that's just like, oh, that's that's terrible. I'm sorry. Like, I, I don't, you know what I mean? I feel like everyone is in control of their lives in every aspect. You just have to figure out how to make the moves that put you where you want to be. You know what I mean? Like, you're stuck in a job, but you feel like you can't quit because that's the money you need to pay your bills and this and that. That's great. Go back to school. Take night classes. All it takes for anybody to better their situation is to work harder. Mm. You have to put in extra work. You have to put in extra time. If you choose to go to work and then sulk on having a shitty job at home while you're sitting on the couch watching TV, you're not using the opportunity and the time you have to correct what you're uncomfortable about. You know what I mean? So I don't have a lot of empathy for people when it's just. Woe is me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now. Something tragic happens in your life that is out of your control and it, and and it's like. Debilitates you. You know what I'm thinking about right now that happened recently. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. I have empathy in those situations. Mm -hmm. 1000%. Like it's terrible. But when it's just normal type life things and the only reason why it's bad for you is because you're not changing it, I don't care. I don't care. I get that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm Mm-hmm. Somebody is on death row getting ready to be executed and their family is super upset about it. I have a little empathy for the family because it's out of their control. You know what I mean? Like, you can't change it. They did it. So I feel for you that you're losing somebody you love. However, I don't care about your thoughts of how they get killed because they did something that's shitty. So if they die really slow and painful, it's not gonna, it doesn't bother me. Fucking fentanyl, Narcan them. Fentanyl them again, Narcan them. Fentanyl them again, Narcan them. Do it like 40 times and then fucking... Sandpaper their forehead to death. I don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you do something shitty, you something shitty is going to happen to you. Karma. I, I believe in karma. I do. Now, <clears throat> I don't believe it I, always comes around when, when it should, I but. say that, though, when I say the way I am about like empathy and feeling for people, 
a lot of people just immediately go, you're a dick. The way you think is, is stupid. You're a fucking asshole. But I don't think there's just as many people out there that are like, like real thinkers. Like, you know what I mean? Like they broaden every aspect of their decision to like incorporate every feeling from every aspect. It's like black and white it. You know what I mean? Black, white, there's your decision. Fucking pass and move on. How did we get to this? From, I don't know. <clears throat> from public execution. I don't know, but I like it though. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like explaining it because then when I make <clears throat> decisions and people are like, you're an asshole. It's like, no, what? I mean, I care, but I, I don't care enough to fucking do what you're doing. You know, the empathy and being a shoulder to cry on in a situation that can be corrected. I don't care. That's not me. I got other shit to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, anyway. Are you very empathetic? No. Yeah. But. Are you confrontational? No. No. More of a. Passive, aggressive? Mm, I wouldn't even say that. I was just. I just don't give a fuck, I guess. Mm-hmm. That's the thing right there. That You just explained how I feel all the time in most situations. I don't give a fuck. And people think that you're a dick or an asshole for that. But it's not that you don't care. It's just it's not that important or a priority to you to be the one that makes the decision or call the shot. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. Well, then they think you're being a dick. No, I just, I just don't care. You do this or do this. Whichever one you do, it don't, I don't care. But they think you're being a dick because you're like, I don't care. Mm-hmm. So hard being a man. <laughs> the simpler you are, the more sophisticated people think you're fucked up. They mm-hmm. think you got to be rational. And I, it's like, no, just make a decision. One, two, done. Mm-hmm. You know, you try to be simple and then everyone gets you all twisted like you're some complex fucking individual. <laughs> no. You're all fucked up. <laughs> kick the ball, don't kick the ball. I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what do you mean by that? Kick the fucking ball, man. I don't fucking care. Kick the ball. Right? Like, that's how I feel like my life is every fucking day, mm-hmm. all day long. Something as simple as kicking a fucking ball. Or should I kick it? Should I could? Don't do you, should I not kick it? I don't know. Kick it. Well, why do you want me to kick it? No, don't kick it. Well, why shouldn't I kick it? I don't fucking care. <laughs> Just do whatever you want to do. Fucking scram. Okay, I'm <laughs> sick of this. Beat it, nerd. Every day I feel like that's how it is. Mm-hmm. My whole life. Every day. Yeah. But in other news, and on a lighter note. Yeah. Urban Dictionary. Oh, fuck. Only got one word tonight, though. <laughs> Fucking slacker. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was picking up your slack all day, so didn't really have time to find some. If <clears throat> anybody's out there, go ahead and find us a word or two. We'll use it. I promise you. Oh, we haven't really thought of that. We have, but it was like early on. I never thought of that. Of having people send us a word? Yeah. Yes, you did. We fucking talked about it. Well, we there said, we go. We told people to... There we go again. Anyway. <clears throat> go ahead. Uh, submit a word to us at our email. Uh, what's our fucking email? <laughs> or you can just comment on the video or well, we whatever. Got, we got a new email. Yeah, but we can use that one still. The it's old on one? The, it's on the YouTube still. I haven't changed yeah, it. We can... Hey, it's klovebuy at, at gmail. gmail.com. Yep. Until if, I switch it. If you have uh, Urban Dictionary, or you make an Urban Dictionary. Ooh, even better. Yeah, if you make an Urban Dictionary, we will 1,000% use it. If you make one, we'll use it. Yeah. Send it to us, klovebuy at gmail.com. At gmail. G, G, mm. gmail. Mm. Daddy. Did you get that gmail? <sighs> oh, you hit my gmail. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the word I have is fa, F A H, fa, not like the fa, not like the noodles, fa, 
Fa, fa, fa. One man performing oral sex on another man while humming Christmas carols, i.e. fa la 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 la. But I'd, it would be more like fa la 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 la. No. Fa fa la 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 la. Huh? Okay. Pretend you have a dick in your mouth. I can't do that very well. You do it better. Pretend Go ahead. You have Just a dick show in- me how it's done. Pretend you have a dick in your mouth. I don't know. You can't. Don't know. You can't move your tongue to make the law. Why couldn't you? You can't do it completely, but you could probably do like take three fa- fingers. Uh, uh, take three fingers. No, you take it, three fingers. Put them in your mouth. No, and then try. I'm to not going to do that. La. No, you do it. That's Show why. The, why the, that's why he says fa ha ha ha. It doesn't. It says fa la 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 la. Where? Right there. Well, whoever wrote it's an idiot. You mad bra. <laughs> it's, 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 it's who submitted it? Is you mad, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's official. It's an official government employee. You mad, bro? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because you're supposed to try to do the L's, the fa la la la, and then like I think it it makes it so your tongue like rolls almost because yeah. there's a dick on it. You know, so it's like so like I don't know. I've never sucked a dick. You tell me. You don't think so? You tell me. <laughs> How you, does it work? You don't think everybody watching this knows you've sucked a dick? I've never sucked. You a were dick. in the fucking navy. That's the air force, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a rumor and a lie, and I don't like it. It doesn't actually happen that much. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh God! But what we should do? Trick the wives into fucking doing it. We'll figure it out. See if they can say law. Oh, I'm gonna go home tonight, and I'm gonna be like, "Hey, we have a, a thing going on." Yeah, I Let's need see you to, if you can. I need you to suck my dick, and while you do it, you have to say "fa la 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 la," and I want to see if your tongue can move. Yeah, or actually get the laws out. Our first more like. A, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Urban Dictionary word of the day. I'm gonna tell you what. Uh, this, this, just this one word was very hard to get to in the amount of time I had. There's so much random, and some people put shit on there that's like makes sense. And it's logical and it's Dude. stupid. That's what the dictionary is for. When you read through Urban Dictionary, it makes me wonder if some of the things people put on there, they actually laugh at themselves like, that's a good one. Yeah, there's, I guarantee there's some on here that are just so stupid. Like I watch, I'll, probably the first one. I thought you said that. And they don't even spell things right like that. T A H T. Yeah, see, I don't even know what this word, Amity's for real. <laughs> that open person that keeps going on Y F Y P for you page with, oh my God, T-H-E-U-R, with her little Darcy edits, but I love it, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay though, because they love it, you know. I am now dumber for having listened to what I'm you just you, said. Trying to read some of the shit is. I award them zero like, points. When I did, when I did mine for for you, yeah. I was like all proper, put my commas in right and the oh, capitals dude. and everything. <laughs> and my, what, after reading, so I was like, why? Why did I do that? Like this is no, it's Dude, not necessary. Everyone was reading yours, going, "This guy is a fucking nerd." <laughs> <laughs> this guy used p- p- proper punctuation. <laughs> she seems too educated to be on this this website. <laughs> uh, okay, look at this one. What's this one? The, the The word is: Does Samuel L. Jackson like anime? And the the description is: Yes, he does. Hentai too. There's like. Random shit that doesn't make a fucking. And you I know swear what to God, there's to... some on here too that people will put like a person's name, and it's like their own little love note to that person. Like, hey, go check out Urban Dictionary. I made something for you under your name. <laughs> Do you know? You know what it has to be. 
Urban Dictionary had to make budget cuts, so there's nobody checking this shit. Nobody's checking it. Yeah. Probably. There's it goes, probably it there's just actually, it's just all. it's just AI now. There's no fucking people that work for auto Urban Dictionary at all. <laughs> auto approval. It just has to sit in limbo for 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, love it. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes to everything. I can just imagine like an Urban Dictionary commercial with like the robots from fucking like with Will Smith, like the iRobot. iRobot. The, what are those see, robots? Called? I could see one going. Uh, check out this one. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Uh, approved. <laughs> ha ha ha. Uh, approved. Approved. <laughs> So stupid. Like, this is just the first. This is, I, I literally, all I did was hit a button and pulled up the first page that came up. And yeah, well, <laughs> hopefully, you guys will take over Urban Dictionary and start just uploading a bunch of cool shit that we can just, we'll just have endless copious, copious amounts of Urban Dictionary oh, words. So that's two big words that you've used tonight that I thought. Pinky up. Like what? What was the other one you said earlier? What? Oh, uh, empathy. Empathy. I'm like, wow. Colby Emp- knows what empathy means. Empathetic. Huh. Prehistoric. Empathy and copious. I'm just Jurassosaurus. <sighs> yes, and then you just go and <laughs> prove your worth right there. <laughs> uh, pa- uh, what was it? The Paleolithic. 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 That's what the diet comes from. Yeah. Paleo, Paleo diet. diet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All plants. Anything that grows from the ground or you can kill yeah. it. Except for potatoes for some reason. Like you can eat anything that comes to the ground or whatever you can kill. But potatoes, you can't, you know, they come from the ground, but you can't it's, eat those. It's because every diet knows potatoes are potatoes. bad for you. Except for sweet potatoes. So they just. Sweet potatoes are delicious. No potatoes. Yeah, I fucking love you ever been to a restaurant that makes like those crinkle cut potato fries? Yeah. And then they serve them with like that cinnamon frosting no. dip? No. Oh my God. I have There's had a this. few places that have that little, it's like a, it's like a cinnamon butter. You're thinking like frosting sauce that's to like dip the fries in? That's like at, uh, yeah, Texas Roadhouse where they have like yes. the rolls with the butter, Ooh. cinnamon butter shit. Yeah, but they serve that shit with fucking mm. sweet potato fries. Oh, yeah. Fucking Good. come in your pants every time. Every time. Oh, my God. Challenge accepted. Yeah. I mean, you dip. Well, hold on. Come. Yeah, that so order. that's what I was going to say. Is it every bite or is it every time you go and have that one serving? Every you bite. You come. Only really? Time, only time I fuck like a stallion is after I eat fucking sweet potato fries with the cinnamon With the frosting. butter cinnamon come. Probably because I come... 30 times before I get to have sex. Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, every man knows by that stage, you're, you might, you're fucking there, Ronnie. There's, Ronnie that, chance that, you, there's that, that chance that you might not even come again. Yeah, ever. Just, it's all about her that <laughs> it's time. It's all about her. Yeah. <laughs> Switch your tactics. Eat some sweet potato fries and cinnamon frosting dip. Yeah, so our, Lady first, our love first love note uh, of the day is, or of the podcast is uh, if you want to last longer, eat sweet potato fries with butter, cinnamon, cinnamon butter, your, frosting. Your old girl, she'll never leave you be. You'll be eating <laughs> sweet potato fries every night for dinner. Every night. Every night. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner probably. Yeah, you know, I should write a book on tips of lasting longer for men. Yeah. And fill them full of like shit like that because those are great ideas. Aphrodisiacs? No. Sweet potato fries, baby. Yeah. You don't want anything that gets you going. You want anything that... Gets you done. You know what I mean? What? Like the aphrodisiacs, they like get you in the mood and get you going. Yeah. And then you're like, you're like overly ready mm-hmm. when it comes time. You want to eat stuff like this that just, there's no time to get going. You're already done. Mm-hmm. Then by the time it's, you know, love making session, you're fucking like, well, I've, I couldn't come if you gave me a million bucks right now. So it's all about you, baby. It's all about you. And that's all they want. That's what they want. They want to be uh, treated. We should write a book. What women want. There's a movie about it. Is there? I mean, kind of. No Gibson. There's a song about it, too. Yeah. I think it's Christina Aguilera. Mm -hmm. What a girl wants. Oh, yeah. What a girl needs. 
I don't know the words, but I know that's the sound. <laughs> that's that's an oldie get but goodie too. Oh sure. Christina Aguilera I'm talking about. Not the song. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're out of time there, sir. Sir? Sir, sir. Sure, sir. We're out of time. And that is it. Our time is up. Your time is up. You're gonna be publicly executed by Hanging. What did I do? You know what you did. Definitely hanging. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Definitely, Definitely hanging. hanging. We're going to go with hanging. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been fun. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I don't want to be done, but apparently Brandon says we have to I don't want to be done either. I could go for a few more hours, really, if yeah. we had the opportunity. Why not? Let's do it. I don't have the opportunity. Well, we'll just call and say to work tomorrow, both of us. You've... Yeah, you don't I have got any time a chest. Left. I got a chest thing. I gave it to you tonight. And you feel like shit. It's instant. It's an instant yeah. sick. Yeah. Oh yeah, instant sick. Okay, I can, I can go with this. All right, so we're gonna keep going. <laughs> <laughs> now we will see you guys uh, next week, episode thirty-one. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're uh, checking out our social medias, watching for those uh, those shorts to drop. We got those coming at you all the time. Yeah. Um, Make sure you tell your friends. We've had some pretty cool scenarios lately that have gotten back to us about uh, uh, you guys talking to everybody and all your friends about our podcast, and then it turns out to be somebody we know. Yeah. And they're like, "Hey, heard about your podcast?" Well, the person, yeah, the person we, person that you knew was hearing about it from yeah. somebody we don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like hearing stuff like that. Love you guys hanging in with us. Indubitably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that note thank you all appreciate it we love Stick you guys around. come back next week fuck, fuck you okay love, love you bye, you, bye. Let's get out of here. Let's go, dude. Pull chocks. Pull chocks.